The term fitra, which Muslim theologians use, comes from the root fatara. Fatara, fatara is the root, and we have many derivatives from this, like fatir. You can say, Ya fatara, samawati wa Or fitra, fitra Allah, allati fatara al nas alayha. So this root means creation. So fatara means created. And fitra is the cast, the sigha, which is on the uh, fi'la, like jilsa, mita, fi'la. In sarf, in morphology, they tell us that fi'la is used to indicate a type of something, a form of something. For example, when the Arabs want to say that I sat like the sitting of servants or slaves, they say jalastu jilsat al-abid. Jilsa tal abid. Jilsa uh, is maf'ul mutlaq in nahv, but in sarf is fi'la. And fi'la means a type of julus, a type of sitting. Jilsa. Jilsa tal abid means a type of sitting that a servant, you know, when a servant sits, sits in the way which is very respectful. Or, for example, this famous hadith, Man mata wa lam ya'rif imam al-zaman, he mata mita al jahiliya. Mita is again fi'la, and means a type of death, which is suitable for al jahiliya. So, fitra means a type of creation. Okay, this is the original meaning, the literal meaning of the term fitra, a type of creation. But technically, mutakallameen, theologians, use this term to refer to what? To a special creation that Allah has given to human beings. A special creation that Allah has given to human beings. And the reason they have selected this term is the ayah in the Quran which says, فَأَقِمْ وَجْحَكَ لِلدِّينَ حَنِيفًا فِطْرَةَ اللَّهِ الَّتِي فَطَرَ النَّاسَ عَلَيْهَا لَا تَبْدِيلَ لِخَلْقِ اللَّهِ ذَلِكَ الدِّينُ الْقَيِّمِ So, this ayah says that you should turn your face towards the religion which is Hanif. Hanif means something which is turning away from bottle towards haq. So if you go away from bottle or turn away from bottle and move towards haq, this is called hanif. And you know that one of the titles which was used for the religion of Ibrahim salam was the religion of Hanif, Dina Hanif, means something which is turning towards Haq. Anyway, Allah says you should turn your face towards the religion which is Hanif, or you have to be Hanif, means you have to be focused on the truth. And this is what Allah has created people on it, which is a very beautiful notion that your religion which you have to choose and you have to tune yourself to truth is also something which has its roots in your creation. So 
our creation and our religion match yeah it's uh, like for example if someone says i tell you the best way of using this machine i tell you the best way of using for example this tv or computer or whatever this can only work if the way he tells you to use this would be compatible with the way that that machine is produced yeah so religion can only work if it's in compliance with our nature or it's actually inspired by the way we are created so this is the way Allah has created people. There is no change in the creation of Allah. The, and, uh, this is the Deen al Ghayyam, this is the upright religion. Anyway, because of this ayah, Muslim scholars chose the term fitra to refer to refer to those aspects of our creation which are unique which are special because there are two different characteristics in us there are some characteristics in us that we share with animals and there are some characteristics in our creation which we don't share with animals. We said fetra is a special type of creation. So theologians refer by fetra to those special characteristics which are exclusive to human beings and not shared by animals. Those which are shared by animals are many. If we want to refer to something which we share with animals, we don't use fetra. We have other terms. For example, if we want to refer to the ways that we and animal both do certain things or have inclination towards certain things, we use the term instinct. Gariza. Gariza is what we share for example we have desire for food and animals have desire for food we have desire for water they have desire we have desire for uh, opposite sex animals have desire so this is not fitra up to this stage because this is shared by animals okay what is called fetra is something extra, something special, something exclusive that we have. For example, inshallah, I give you later a list, but for example, for in us, there is a desire for beauty. Beautification is very important part of human life. For animals, beauty is not an issue, okay? So, if you look at animals, it's not that when they want to, for example, select their spouse, this is one of their criteria. I find, you know, a beautiful horse. For them, all the horses are beautiful, okay? For a horse, all horses are beautiful. Or, for example, when they might want to make their you know, home. For example, if birds want to make nest. If you look at all the birds and their nests, uh, of course, birds of the special type, okay, of the same type. For example, if you look at all the pigeons, they make their nest same. Depending on the material, on the environment, on the nature, they use the same, you know, design and they do it. And when they do it also, it's not that every day they bring something and decorate it. Yeah, they do something simple and that's it. If you look at the birds in a you know, the birds nest in one town, they are the same. If you look at the way they make uh, nests today or 100 years ago, 200 years ago, 
is the same. But if you look at human beings, human beings always want to make it more beautiful and more beautiful and more beautiful. And then sometimes they get confused and they don't know what is beautiful. So they make it ugly, but hoping that this is beautiful. The whole, you know, taste can change. And sometimes to make it beautiful is more important than making the house. So people don't spend that much time on the safety of the house, of the strength of the house. They just want to make it beautiful. And sometimes then you see the outside of house is more important than inside. Outside is very beautiful, but when you go inside, it's not beautiful. So these are all the problems that come in human beings. Why? Because we have a desire for beauty. But how to respond to that desire is another issue. It's not that our response is always good, but the desire is something special in us. Inshallah, we will talk about them. So, fitrah is that aspect of our creation, which is exclusive to us, which is a special. We don't share with animals, we don't share with plants, we don't share with non-living beings. It's very special. And fitrah normally is used to refer to two different types of characteristics. Sometimes fitrah refers to some type of understanding and knowledge that we have by creation. Sometimes it is used to refer to some types of desires and inclinations that we have by nature. Okay, so sometimes a matter of understanding and knowledge. Sometimes a matter of desire and inclination. For example, when we talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will explain that we have both innate knowledge of God and we have also innate yearning for God, desire for God. It's not just knowledge. It's, so it can be knowledge, it can be desire, and in some cases, or maybe most of the cases, we have both. We have some fetry, some innate understanding of beauty. We also have desire for it. We have some understanding of what does it mean to be perfect, and we have desire for it, okay? So it's not just understanding or just desire, it's both of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.